Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat. Um, doing something really, really weird because I really don't want to have to break out my OBS and my VTuber setup just to record something that is just a little simple announcement thingy, my bobber, and it's easier for me to edit audio than it is for me to edit video at the moment because I don't have a video editing program and I wanted to get this done pretty quick. So I won't be continuing Mass Effect. And trust me, it hurts. And I have multiple reasonings on to why I am not continuing Mass Effect. Um, so, so to explain, like, the major, major reason why I am not playing Mass Effect 3 or completing it. And trust me, this hurts a lot of people, or at least it hurts me. And the reasoning why is because EA is garbage and... I mean, we all knew that. We all knew that. Come on, ever since the everything. And we all know how much of a critical person I am of EA, the company, and their behavior towards game creation and players, etc. But I'm going to explain it in a more interesting technical aspect. So, EA games, any game that is made by EA, that you buy, you play on Steam and Xbox, I don't know if they're on Epic, I've never really looked, you are required to use the so totally not origin guys we promise ea app it's basically a barely changed coding origin let's be honest and we all remember how origin was garbage so ea forces you to use the ea app and it's trash we all know it's trash here's a little thing that's interesting about the ea app and if you happen to play a lot of ea games or you play ea games like on occasion this is something you might want to look into so the ea app forces a background process to play on your computer even if you haven't touched an ea game now the point of the ea process background process is for i have no fucking clue but i can tell you that it does activate whenever there is an update for the ea app and will lag your computer or at least it tries to lag mine and makes you think that there's some kind of bad problem happening on your computer when in reality it's just your computer is doing your ea app is updating doesn't ask permission, doesn't give warning, just does it. Kind of like how Windows does updates. Anyway, I just was really annoyed with that. And so I was like, and you can't do this within the uh, within the EA app itself, because I looked it up. You can turn off the background process, which I did. I didn't like do any weird, super genius hacking matrix bullshit. I just went into the EA app, went to the settings, and turned it off. It's easy to do. Anyone can do it. And I haven't played Mass Effect in like... Uh, hold on, let me do some notes. I haven't played an EA game in like four weeks. Now, um, I, I really haven't. Um, I did a Lego stream. I did a cross-stitching stream. You'll see those videos sooner or later. I was sick. Like, massively sick that I could not stream or make content for, like, a week. Let's, let's put it this way. During that time of sickness, my body refused to let me leave my bed. I was that bad. I'm better now. I still have, like, a cough and some throat tingles, but I'm good now. I haven't played technically an EA game in, like, four weeks. And I decided to do um, a new game. A t t not a new game. I decided to boot up Mass Effect 3. And I started it up, and it kept going. Uh, you're, restart the program. Uh, it needs to install important updates. Please, re please restart the program. I was like, okay. Knew this was most likely going to happen because I've turned off the automatic updates because I did not like it. And it kept going. And going. And going. And going. And going. And going. For about five whole minutes, if not more, about five, ten-ish minutes. I can't remember. But it just kept happening over and over and over and over and over again. Almost like a boot loop, if you will. But with an EA app. And it says restart the program, not restart the PC. I, re I read the text like 15,000 times. And it just kept happening over and over again. And it was like constantly need up it. And I could not play Mass Effect. This was happening on stream. Because I was starting it up. And I was talking about it with my co-host Core. Creative Corner, great little bean. And Core's like, you should stream this and explain what's going on behind the scenes. Because people need to know how garbage this EA app is. Because, like, I know, like, uh, 
Steam. I'm going to use Steam. It updates its app, like, what, once a week? It's always on a Tuesday. Everyone makes a joke. Don't play a multiplayer game on Steam on Tuesday because that's when the servers are getting their updates, which makes the most sense. Um, So, like, I think Steam does, like, what, once a week, at least for their servers, for the actual app itself, once a something or other. I don't know. It's not as frequently as two, within a four-week period. I can tell you that much. And that happened. And I think the only way to actually make the EA app work again is to do a complete uninstall and reinstall. Which is what I bet a few of you people are saying. Just do that. Now I'm going to get to the reason part two of why I have not completed, why I'm not completing Mass Effect 3. I'm not having fun. I think that should be like a legit okay reason and just say I'm not having fun and we just be done and over with it. But I feel like there are some people out there who are like, no, you have to complete it, da-da-da-da-da-da. You completed Yakuza 3 and you weren't having fun. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, I haven't completed Yakuza 5 either because I was not having fun. I have decided after the whole Yakuza 3 incident that if I am not having fun with a game, my content dithers. And it's not even like I can do the whole make fun of it, oh my god, this is so bad, and, you know, do that funny shtick. Because it's even like, it's not, I can't even do that. It's boring. At least that's what I decided after the Yakuza 3 incident. And that's why I never completed Yakuza 5. And to be perfectly honest, from my research of what happens in Yakuza 6, because some people might have just said just skip to 6, I'm not going to have fun with Yakuza 6 either. There's a whole segment that, there's a bunch of segments dedicated to Kiryu taking care of a kid. And for those who forgot, I'm not the biggest fan of babies or the sounds of crying babies. Hence why I don't want to play Death Stranding, even though Epic gave it to me when I happened to be on their website when it was Christmas because I wanted to see if Kingdom Hearts was on sale. Um, <laughs> so that's a thing I'm going to have give you an idea of. So I'm just like, I, the weird thing is like, Like a Dragon does perk my interest. Inshin perks my interest and like the other stuff perks my interest. So there's that. And, like, I already kind of know what happens in Yakuza 6 because I'm like, I got Wikipedia. I got friends who've played these games. I'll just ask them. Because I'm not one of those people of, like, if I'm not having fun, I don't think I'm making good content. And I really am a big proprietor of... I'm now becoming more of a person who's like, if I'm not having fun, we have to change it up. And I am not having fun with Mass Effect 3. Because, and I've complained about it a thousand times in my videos and my streams, I do not like how they set up the side quest where it's you get the side quest can't in part two can't deal it to part four but if you don't do it before part five it's an epic failure and they don't remove the quest and say it's a failure or anything so you basically keep thinking you can do the quest when you can't and it got to a point and you can see it in my last video that i did of mass effect 3 i'm so annoyed I, it, there's a freaking the title is called what is it i'm so irked i'm making list yeah I only did it for like the first act and then I occur then I did it after stream I did a complete list writing using three guides on when I can do certain quests so I could stop looking up because you can see me doing that frequently in Mass Effect 3 what what question I do next what question I do next what question I do next because I'm trying to get the best fucking ending and it got to a point where it was highly stressful for me and I'm not a fan of that and like Core said Mass Effect 3 is fine 90% of the time but the 10%, it just makes the whole, it just counteracts the 90% of the good parts. The stupid fucking ending and the stupid fucking quest situation and the stupid... Eh. Anyway, if you are actually here for my Mass Effect content, <clears throat> I doubt it. I don't think anyone really watches my VODs, to be perfectly honest. They are just like, they're unedited, raw VOD footage. It's not edited, it's not changed up. I don't do that because I do not have the process... The only time I ever have my videos edited is if I have a massive computer, a massive internet issue, and they become in multiple parts where I have my friend Fibnac actually, you know, edit it and put it together and put the funny little ha ha ha's. But it's just basically raw stream footage because I really do not want to deal with editing. I am one person. I cannot hire a person. I am not Markiplier. Uh, <laughs> I love how I'm like, I am not Markiplier. That's who I use. Um, I am not big and popular. And I'm not great with video editing. I'm only good at like speed paint level. Anyway. I also hate listening to the sound of my own voice. This audio video, this audio editing is going to be a pain in the ass for me. Um, so that is like the main reason why I am not playing Mass Effect 3 anymore. And I'm sorry if you guys wanted me to continue it. I love the Mass Effect series. I was never a biggest fan of 3 because 
weird thing is, I can remember certain aspects of three, but I also remember the ending, and then suddenly white seething rage. Um, <laughs> so if you're here for the for the Mass Effect series, I'm very sorry. No, I will not do Andromeda. I don't own Andromeda. I don't wish to own Andromeda. I don't wish to play another EA game for a good period of time. I'm going to be honest with you, Chief. So that is why we are currently doing uh, Bloodstained Symphony of the Night. I know I will be doing another game possibly afterwards, depending on how long Bloodstained lasts. And then I will be doing... Well, the thing I keep teasing and I've been mentioning, I will be doing the Kingdom Hearts series soon. The complete series. Inclu including, uh, you know, all of it. Except for the mobile game. I can do all of it except for, I think, mobile games and Dream Drop Distance. Which I will do, like, funny little video explanations. And for the mobile games, I'm just gonna... I, I, I've already made this joke and I can say it now. I'm just gonna read the Wikipedia article so people can have some form of understanding what the fuck's going on in 3. Um, so that's kind of my plan. If anyone's actually curious about behind the scenes, um, thanks for listening. Yeah, da, 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 da. See you later, foolish mortals.